Pamela Denise Anderson is a Canadian American actress, model, TV personality, and author, best known for being a Playboy magazine model, as well as for her roles on shows like Baywatch and Home Improvement. She rose to fame after being chosen as February 1990's Playmate of the Month and went on to appear frequently on the magazine's cover. In fact, Pam holds the record of the most Playboy covers by any person. She became even more well known in the 90s after appearing as Lisa in the ABC comedy series Home Improvement, later gaining international fame for her starring role as CJ Parker in Baywatch. This role also solidified Pam's status as a sex symbol. In the years to come, Pam would star in the action comedy series VIP, as well as appear in many films and reality TV shows. Aside from her Hollywood career, she's also an activist for animal rights and endorsed PETA projects for many years. At the time of this recording, Pam has amassed herself a net worth between 12 to 20 million dollars. Hailing from Canada, Pam might just be the most famous Lady Smith resident of all time, which is the small, charming town on Vancouver Island where she lives. After years in Malibu and traveling the world, the star has finally returned home. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today, we're checking out the homes of Pam. Pamela Anderson, including the Malibu property she has on the market, and what we know about her estate in Lady Smith, BC. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now, let's get into this video. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Miss Anderson has long lived in Malibu, even saying that for years she felt like the Malibu mascot. Years ago, Pam invited MTV Cribs into one of her former homes in Malibu, which was a charming, cottage-style residence. While it may have looked modest, this home still boasted six beds, five baths, and features like an outdoor bath. I collect a lot of pottery from the 30s and 40s. This is a French chandelier. I have some Italian chandeliers. I collect a lot of old antique blankets and little frilly stuff. The shabby chic style home was in the guard gated Malibu colony, but Pam moved on from here around 2007, listing the place at $6.5 million and then deciding to rent it out. After this, Pam and her sons decided to lease a large chateau style mansion in the hills of Malibu on Morning View Drive. Located north of Point Doom and overlooking the Pacific Ocean, this house looked like a French fantasy and spans 4,584 square feet with four beds and four baths. The mansion was a gated estate with access to the beach sitting on about three acres with ocean views and rolling lawns. Modeled after the finest homes in Europe, Pamela's former property also boasted a swimming pool flanked with perfect landscaping. Inside, there were beam ceilings and a large formal entryway with double staircase and rustic chandeliers. The design here was a mix of classic architecture and modern amenities, and other highlights included a great room with soaring ceilings, a gourmet kitchen, and seven fireplaces throughout. The floors were wood, stone, and antique terracotta, and there was also a beautiful indoor-outdoor room and spacious master suite with private balcony. In recent news, Pamela is selling her longtime Malibu beach house and her sweet retreat is on the market for $14.9 million. The star bought the property for $1.8 million back in 2000, but it gave the modern home a complete remodel in 2013 with the help of architect Philip Vertoch and interior designer Joss Crisanthu. Not to mention, Pam also added her own elements and signature touches to the home, like a bathtub in her bedroom. The actress has helped to design a number of homes she's owned through the years. Years, and she's actually done the whole bathroom in the bedroom thing in nearly all of them. After years of living at the coastal compound or renting it out when she's not there, Pam is moving back to her roots after marrying her bodyguard Dan Hayhurst on Christmas Eve of 2020. The pair is focused on renovating her longtime home in BC. Pam's Malibu home is located in the chic Malibu colony community where she's lived before, actually across the road from the beach instead of right on the water, but it comes with a key to access one of the most exclusive beaches beaches around. Pam's property is hidden from the street and sits behind gates inside, spanning 5,500 square feet, and this is divided between the main house and the guest house. There are four beds and 4.5 baths throughout, as well as teak wood imported from ethical areas. The main house and guest house are separated by an elegant outdoor entertainment area with pool and dining space, and beneath the guest house, there's a second outdoor area with fire pit, hot tub, and cozy vibes. 
The overall design of Pam's property is airy and classic Malibu with floor to ceiling glass sliders and hardwood floors throughout. In 2013, Pam briefly put her Malibu Oasis on the market for $7.75 million, but then decided to offer it as a rental instead for 40 k per month. When it was up for lease, her home came furnished with features like a white piano, crystal chandeliers, white sofas, and easy chairs. Her home was centered by a spacious great room with open floor plan made up of the kitchen, living, and dining rooms, and complete with a wall of glass doors opening to the terrace. The kitchen features an Eden Island and high-end appliances including a glass-fronted refrigerator and built-in espresso machine. Pam's master suite takes up most of the second floor with an open-plan bedroom and features like a private balcony, corner fireplace, and hidden closets with built-in lighting. Half of the bathroom, a Picasso-style tub and vanity, is out in the open of the bedroom. The rest of the ensuite has dual sinks and even a sauna. Pam has said about her bedroom here. My bedroom is my favorite room in the house. I love it and it's the most sensual and clean space with a rain shower on a teak floor and sauna attached plus a bathtub in my bedroom. The terrace in the master suite also provides access to a rooftop deck with another outdoor fireplace and amazing views. Sustainable elements in Pam's Malibu house include solar panels and an irrigated vegetable garden that was also sustainably built. Holding onto the home turned out to be beneficial for Pam since she'll make a pretty profit if the property sells for even close to the $14 million plus asking price. On moving back home to Canada, Pam also explained, I feel more settled on my sustainable ranch on Vancouver Island with space to rescue more animals. It's still beachfront, one foot away from the water, and I'm lost. Now Pam has returned to her Vancouver Island farm, a six acre compound she bought from her grandmother decades ago, and has plans to renovate the waterfront property. Anderson and her husband have been staying in Ladysmith since 2019, often visiting even before the pandemic to fix the property up as it fell into disrepair when her grandmother passed away. Pam has always had a special place in her heart for Ladysmith, the charming and warm small town where her property is located. It was originally named Oyster Harbor and is a town on the east coast of Vancouver Island with an economy based on forestry, tourism and agriculture. Pam's property was originally owned by her paternal grandmother who used to run a general store out of one of the buildings and it's remained in the family since. After spending a few years in the south of France, Pam decided she wanted to move back home. The place had been neglected for about 20 years and definitely was in need of some TLC. The Ladysmith estate has different cabins on the property by the sounds of it, and there were little bedrooms that Pam showed off in an interview. Her father's family used to sleep there once upon a time, and one of the smaller white bedrooms is where Pam has been sleeping to these days. Rumors that Pam was planning to develop or build condos in town were shut down, and the stars confirmed that for now, she's just working on restoring her home. She said, I just want a simple dock like it used to be. I'm sure I'll get a boat one day. It's been a lifelong art project. My kids have some ideas for their cabin, so it's a family adventure. My mom and dad were married here. My father grew up on the property and my parents lived with me and my brother in cabin six. So I'm happy to have not been seduced into building that big condo project. The Canadian star has posted peeks into her life on Vancouver Island thanks to Instagram and we can see she enjoys spending time in the great outdoors with her pets. Pam has also said about her plans for her Ladysmith property, I've spent the last year here renovating, landscaping, creating gardens so that we can live sustainably. A greenhouse, potter's wheel, canning pickles and beets. I'm creating my life here now again where it all started. Residents of Vancouver Island may have even spotted Pam already since she's been keeping busy. Anderson is on billboards along the Patricia Bay Highway here since she's teamed up with a local animal rescue sanctuary to launch the billboards promoting veganism. So while we don't have many photos of Pam's current Ladysmith property, I'm sure we'll be able to see more of the place when she's done giving it a facelift and restoring her dream home. After looking at a few of Pamela Anderson's homes, what did you guys think? I think that Malibu place she's selling is a perfect mix of modest and upscale living. While it isn't as sprawling as some mansions, it's definitely upscale and in one of the nicest areas you could ask for. I also love how Pam includes natural vibes in her interior design. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about her homes in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you want to see featured next on this channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!